Okay. Hopefully, if YouTube takes its time. Okay, so we should be live, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Okay, so, hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert, and today I'm a little bit late. I'm like four minutes late, so for those uh, who have been waiting, I appreciate it, but I'm a little bit late. Today we're going to be going through the full lookbook for the full winter 20 season, and... Yeah, uh, there's not much else to say, to be honest. We do this pretty much every season, and yeah, we're going to do it for this season as well. Uh, hopefully, it drops in about 30 seconds-ish time, so give or take. But yeah, check Supreme's Insta. Don't say that, because I'm about to switch over to a different screen, being this. So, but yeah, hello everyone in the chat. appreciate it, or appreciate you being here. And I hope that there's not an issue with this with this dropping. Because that would be terrible. <laughs> so let me just double check. Okay, so they put out a load of stuff three minutes ago. So it's open. It is open. It is not open. <laughs> It's right there. Okay, right, it's dropped. It's dropped, it's dropped. So, uh, thank you for everyone here. Everyone's saying what's good. I'm good, I hope you're all doing good as well. Uh, it's going a little bit faster than I was anticipating the chat. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, right, no spoilers, no anything. We just see what's there, that's it. We're just going to go through as per norm, like section by section and yeah, uh, opinions, I've been able to cut these down from like an hour and a half to like an hour, so this time we're going to aim for about 45 minutes-ish. So, first item that we're going to see, and I will zoom out this time because last time I uh, I did zoom out, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it does look promising this season from like the leaks, but anyway, first item is a King Hooded Varsity Jacket. Yeah, I mean, I'm a varsity jacket person, obviously, but um, make your cam smaller, 100%. There we go. Maybe a bit too small. Maybe a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, first item, varsity. I'm just going to move ahead a little bit, I think, on this one. Two... A globe MA1. I mean, it is it embroidered? Yeah, embroidery. Yeah, that's good. Okay. No problem. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't really need to see my head like <laughs> massive sort of thing. Uh, I'm not a fan of the jacket type, but I like the embroidery. So that's about it for me. But um. Moving on, <laughs> uh, a Gore-Tex Phil Down Parker. I mean, it's yeah, it's a Parker. Some unique text choices, I suppose, or font choices. Yeah, it's. <laughs> We're just gonna move straight ahead. Um, you gotta, you gotta get the the bad pieces out of the way to get to the good ones. You know, you gotta do that. Okay. Phil Dan Parker out the way. The, uh, what is it, preview piece, I guess you can call it, that they put out, which is the faux fur reversible hooded jacket. Is there another colourway? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I like the font, but... I don't know. I don't know. The font's nice, but it doesn't have the impact of that, like, the jacket from, like, 2017, where it was, like, it's, like, £3,000 now. So, you know that one that I mean. It doesn't have that sort of impact. But, I mean, yeah. Uh, Digi Floral Corduroy Shirt. I like flowers, but... I mean, 
black and white, you can't really go wrong with that. I like this colour because it's actually got the more like rose sort of tone, uh, but that is a really bad time. I think that's my brother. <laughs> so let's move on. Uh, we've got a studded collars, red short sleeve shirt that is dropping. Sort of like some of the pieces that they've done in the past. Um, doesn't really hit it for me. Black colorway, maybe. But I see the word box logo and I'm just going to like not look at the chat because of that. I just don't want to... See any leaks or anything. Uh, tartan flannel shirt. Yeah, standard. Blowback rayon shirt. I like the Supreme font in the sort of smoke tone. You can... Uh, it's more legible in the bright colourway, which I like. But the darker tone where it's like no saturation and you've just got the red to the lips, that looks really clean. But... Anyway, logo stripe jackyard denim shirt. Yeah, it's standard. There are there are definitely going to be a lot of like standard pieces with this. A chains rain shirt. Yeah, I mean, I guess putting the accessories that they previously done onto a shirt is quite cool, and it looks like it goes onto the inside as well, but doesn't really do too much for me. Jackyard stripe twill shirt. Yeah. Standard marble silk short sleeve shirt. That is vibrant, but it's also cool at the same time. White colorway is nice. I guess it just says supreme in like a very bevel font. It's not terrible. Uh, patchwork Oxford shirt. I mean, I'm a fan of patchwork pieces, but... It's not exactly my sort of style, I'd say, for that. Uh, a perspective. Okay. Rain shirt. Yeah. It's not bad, again. Yeah, definitely there are a lot of loud pieces that are, that are coming out of this so far. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with loud pieces, to be honest. So, sometimes they can work, sometimes they can't. I think that that really warps my vision when I look at the dark colorway to it. Uh, just because with the lighter tone, you don't exactly get like a warpy look. But with that one, you do. Uh, classic denim shirt. Yeah, just move ahead. Penguins rain shirt. This was a leak that I remember seeing. I hope that they do like a Penguins t-shirt or something. That'd be cool. Uh, but for the shirts, I mean, there are a couple of decent ones. I don't really look over the shirts too much, to be honest, when I'm going for things during seasons so they're not bad at the end of the day there's some cool ones next up okay yeah standard Vadson leather jacket yeah retail <laughs> retail in the heavens it's going to be yeah we can move on from that okay so the first row is complete yeah first row complete yeah first row is complete um yeah it's, it's okay. I mean, I'm looking forward to what's coming up because I'm guessing those are the accessories and things down here. So I'm looking forward to that. But obviously, we don't spoil anything. We try to just go through a lot of it in a decent-ish time frame. I just want to have the chat up because it's just... It's, it keeps disappearing for me. So yeah. Anyway, let's kick off. Actually, I need to put that back away. <laughs> uh, let's kick off with a reflective speckled down jacket. I mean, look at the size of the box logo, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, it, it doesn't do too much for me. Uh, I'm not really a massive jacket person. Like, Nupses or Nupsies, I'm good with. But, yeah, it, it's not for me. Fox Racing, coming back. They are, they're coming back with a bag, aren't they? Fox Racing puffy jacket.
pink colorway uh, I really like. It reminds me of the F1 pullover piece, which I'm a massive fan of. I've always wanted to have one because my brother had one. So looks like an F1 pullover colorway, which I like. Uh, Grey colorway I think works the best though with it, just because those like stripes on it that accent it just do a bit better. But yeah, it looks like the Easy Tail Light to be honest. If the Easy Tail Light was was a jacket, that is this piece. Next up, we've got the Toshio Saiki. Hope I didn't butcher it. Uh, work jacket. Embroidered patches, are they? Printed patches. I mean, if it was embroidered, I would have really liked it. Printed. It's not. It's, it's a bit of a difficult one when they're printed. Because I'm not a huge fan of printed printed patches but I will be honest there is a large variety already of things of collaborations of artists work and everything and we're only on like the second row so we can't complain too much to be honest I think it's quite decent so far an overdyed twill hooded jacket is just quite standard to be honest overdyed is getting quite played out with supreme at this point I will be honest um but yeah smurfs oh okay Smurfs Gore-Tex shell jacket. Now I hope they do a t-shirt with something to do with the Smurfs on. Just please. Or a long sleeve. Something like that would be great. But yeah, we've got Smurfs all over it. I mean, it's a different collaboration. A lot of people are saying it's quite cheesy and whatever. But at the same time, it's quite cool to have like a Smurfs piece. Missed opportunity to put something on the back of it though. That is bright. I think the black colorway and the camo colorway work quite well with it. And people are saying accessories are good, so I'll be looking forward to that. And there's a Gore-Tex pant as well. If the retail isn't steep on it, it's Gore-Tex actually. If the retail is average for Gore-Tex, I think it might be okay. But, yeah. I'm just hoping for some good Smurf pieces. Uh, where'd you get your leaks from? Uh, they were all, all just on Twitter and people's discords in the end. Uh, for the pictures and things that I put for, like the thumbnail. So yeah. Block art denim trucker jacket. Black colorway. Definitely that works best with. The denim is okay. But the, the like black all over colorway is the best one. Regular jean as well. Yeah. I could see people like wanting it and wanting to wear it. Especially since they normally just release jeans like as a basic thing that's just nothing special to it. So yeah. Next up. A hooded down jacket. Supreme going all the way around the back. Why, why has it changed so much to receipts on the... I mean, fair play with the white colourway. They've done something a bit different and put receipts all over it. But the other two, three colourways... I mean, yeah, go for the one with all the Supreme store receipts on it. That's pretty cool. Next up. Is that an art piece that they've ripped off? That's, um, oh no. <laughs> I did this as a, as a course. I can't think of the art movement. And this was a, something that I did for an assignment. Um, oh, I'm going to have to search it up. That is... Where is it? The steel or modernism? Yeah, they've literally just taken a piece. Is it the steel? I think they've literally just yeah they've literally just slapped like a the steel piece straight onto a supreme jacket. Okay, well I'm happy with that. My brother's messaging me something and I'm not going to look at it because he's spoiling it probably. Uh, but yeah, I'm a fan of that because I like things that are, are art related. So yeah. No, I was going to say that could be good, but no. Uh, the bright colorway, just, I like it. So, it's probably a personal opinion, but yeah. Uh, a marble, so uh, following the other pit marble piece, they're doing a track jacket as well. Same colorways. Yeah. It still looks okay, but my opinion might have shifted on it, actually. And they're doing a track pant to match. Okay. Piping track jacket. I thought we'd gone past the tr like triping, the piping season with Supreme, but they're back with it. And a track pant as well. Um, I mean, the, the uh, 
blue or navy sort of colorway is okay, but I'm past piping at this piece, at this piece, at this point in time. Right, next row. I think we're going to start getting into the, the like juicy things that Supreme release. So, or I hope we are, to be honest. So, yeah. So far, though, I'm happy. You know, a lot of people are looking forward to this season. Lookbooks, you know, the, the level's like here so far. So, if they bring it, well, if they bring it out of frame, then, you know, it would be good. Uh, patchwork Velour Polo. Yeah, it's okay. This colorway I like a lot more though. Textured stripe crew neck. Yeah, moving on. World class long sleeve top. Yeah. A plaid zip up polo. Okay. Classic font I love, but stay positive. I am. I am staying positive, Supreme. <laughs> stay positive, Jacques Yard top. I'm staying positive with it, Supreme. I'm, I'm positive for your lookbook. Another Velour piece, half zip pullover. I mean, people love Velour, so, or it usually sells out or tends to sell out. So, yeah, I mean, just you can keep it coming in the end. Woven label, long sleeve top. Okay, so it's going to be like £78 in the end. Probably best to avoid. Another stripe top. Contrast stitch polo. Okay. Uh, cut out sleeves, long sleeve top. I mean, pine green and the bright colour are okay and the cream are okay, but I don't know about the whole sleeves thing. Thin stripe. They love their stripes. They absolutely <laughs> love their stripes. Thin stripe polo. Multicolour long sleeve. Yeah, I mean, I like the multicolour. Uh, I wish that that was on the back instead. It'd be a bit better. Give it a bit of spacing. But yeah, the black colourway looks nice with it. And a washed short sleeve tee, which I am going to be this season. I'm pretty sure like a majority of us, we're going to be washed for this season. Uh, yeah, pink colourway is nice, but it's a tee. So again, it's going to be premium price points. So yeah, next up, a watches puffy jacket does that mean they're finally going to drop the watch this season that has been teased by everyone for the past like four seasons or five seasons maybe i'll find out that's bright uh yeah uh black colorway looks best in this for me so that's pretty much it micro down pull over yeah, forest sort of scene. Uh, it doesn't beat like the field pullover that they released quite a couple of seasons ago. But I mean, I like the graphic to it, but it's nothing crazy. So the jacket that I like, which I hope is on a skateboard deck, the Aerial Tapestry Harrington jacket. Personally, this reminds me of uh, the Summit series where they have, you know, the artwork all around for that. Uh, so for me, that reminds me a bit of that which I think might be the same for some other people, possibly. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really cool. Yeah, I think it's a cool piece. A lot of people said they didn't want the, the Supreme on it, but at the same time, you know, they could have possibly put it in the distance a bit smaller, but it doesn't matter. Velvet work jacket. Yep, jackets or jackets? No, velvet is, is coming back as well. Okay, and a trouser to match. But yeah, definitely highlight of this jacket section is, is going to be this piece, 100%. Depending on the retail, we'll see. But yeah. Next up, oh, that's cool. A penguin's hooded fleece jacket. Don't say Supreme anywhere. Yeah, that's not bad, I suppose. That's, that's cool, though. That'd be such a cool piece. That's a really cool piece. Sort of like the wolf fleece, I suppose I could say it's reminiscent of, especially in that colourway. It looks a lot like it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's fire. That's really cool. That is a really cool piece. I don't know whether blue or grey would be my favourite out of the two. The blue is quite loud, whereas the grey isn't. But yeah, I think that's a really cool piece. 
Next up, side logo. Yeah. That's like a gradient sort of color. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing special. Uh, this color is cool because it stands out a little, but that's about it. Sticking with the chains pieces. Chains quilted jacket. I mean, again, it's cool to have their accessories and things featured on it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. On the other piece, it was okay. I don't know about this. Next up. Moving ahead. Moving ahead. Smurf. Smurf piece. Okay. Smurf trucker jacket. I mean, it's it's embroidered. So, that's the cool part about it. Uh, for those asking for me to go to accessories, we go through, like, row by row. So, at the moment, we're on the third row. There are three rows left. 20 minutes. That's not a bad time frame for me, to be honest, to get through things in. Uh, Smurf's piece. I love embroidery, but I don't know how people are going to feel about it. I think it looks cool. But yeah, I don't know how people are going to feel about it. I saw a lot of people say that it was a bit cheesy, but I think it looks quite cool. So, yeah. Different colourway as well. Yeah, the, the darker colourway. Not the dark colourway, but the, the denim colourway, I think, looks better. Because it works, because it's a smurf. So, the colourway works a bit better. And it's on the jean, obviously. That's cool. If they did that on a pocket tee, that'd be really cool. But I don't think they will. So, yeah. Anything else? Oh, okay, a Smurf sweater, oh and there's one happy one, okay, is there another one as well, no it's just the two of them, oh why would they do that on the flip, like the flip to it, oh okay, no they're not tempting me, they're not, te I will not be tempted by Supreme and their, their, what they're trying to offer, right next row, that is a really cool sweater though, but yeah, I'm not going to let them tempt me. A uh, te uh, technical field jacket. I mean, if it's it's useful with the pockets, so I'll give it that. And obviously it folds away into itself clearly. So, cargo vest. I mean, some of them have been popular in the past, so possibly, it could possibly... Possibly. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's not going to. Yeah, Robert's getting excited. Yeah, I'm getting... Uh, slightly. Slightly. But it's when they, they, they draw you in like that. They draw you in with all the lookbook pieces. And then, yeah, you just can't be buying every single piece. you gotta you got to pick your pieces that you like. Big Stitch hoodie. Um... It's cool. I wish it was just by itself, maybe, but maybe that's me. We're on to the hoodies now, aren't we? So these are going to be hopefully good. <laughs> what? A cross box logo hoodie? I don't know whether to be happy about it or whether to be. I don't even know. I mean, go for it at the end of the day, you know? It's going to be difficult to get, and I mean, that's such a different concept, but... What about the other colourways? Peach. Peach colourway. I mean, I wanted to get a Peach Box logo a while ago from a friend, but he wanted like 750 But if I could get a Peach Box logo from this, I mean, I'm not going to complain about anything. <laughs> Already sold out. Supreme said plus. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's a box logo at the end of the day. So, yeah, a lot of colorways, which is great. Peach, purple, na navy? <laughs> Nothing wrong with me. Peach, purple, grey. 
possibly the olive are probably going to be what people will be looking out for. The rest of the colorways will be the normal where people will go for them. But yeah, when it comes to sellout times, it doesn't matter. You know, they'll just fly. So that's cream. I'd say peachy cream color, like colorway. It's a mix, but yeah, I'll take it at the end of the day if I can. Or I'd take a grey. I'd love a grey because I haven't got any grey from Supreme like that. But yeah, Smurfs hoodie. Please be a big logo on the back. I went from here to like here. <laughs> um... Maybe in this colorway and the black, it might look okay, but shop hooded sweatshirt. Skip. <laughs> okay, another piece from the artist with printed patches. Printed patches again. Aerial. Oh, God. Excuse me. <laughs> the aerial crew neck. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the Smurfs piece is a bit of a letdown to follow up from the box logos, but hopefully they make up for it with something else. Uh, crew neck, I think, is cool. Hopefully it's on a T instead, sort of like the banner piece, because that would look really nice on a T. I'm expecting they're going to do it on a T since they've done it on a jacket now, and probably a skateboard deck as well. So, yeah. Uh, another studded piece. It looked better on the T-shirts, personally. My music stopped. No, it hasn't. <laughs> uh, wintry piece. The Icy Arc hoodie. Put it on a tee. Again, just slap it on a tee and I'll be happy. Although, olive colourway is very Christmassy. And the grey colourway looks nice in it. So, yeah. LSD hoodie. Could probably end up doing some numbers in the end. Because it's a bit out there. I'd probably see like a like an artist or something all of a sudden wearing it and then it just pops off pharaoh studded i mean not bad i'm not a studded fan to be honest like i've said but i mean it's not bad at the end of the day that's not great um but the the navy blue it's not bad so yeah s logo standard you know, if you haven't got an S logo yet so far over the last a lot of seasons, uh, then you can pick one up. The Jules Hooded Sweatshirt. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, the applique Jules. Mm. No, I'll move ahead. Uh, Globe Zip Up Sweatshirt. The Globes piece like had a good little bit of potential, but yeah. Not anymore. That's that ship has sailed. The anti hoodie. Yeah, I mean it's standard, standard hoodie. Look closely at the box logo. I will do in a little bit. Oh, look closely at the S logo. Look closely at the S logo. What have I missed? Zooming in does nothing with it. <laughs> Okay, so it says Supreme in little little logos. Okay, that's quite cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit more unique for the S logo. Right, let's move ahead onto the Black Art hooded sweatshirt. Oh, Black Arc. Misspelling, my bad. I'm zoomed out and my eyesight is just horrific. Yeah, it also says ARC, so that's on me. That is on me. Yeah, there are a bunch of small logos. The Pearl Hooded Sweatshirt. Okay, that is... That's an extremely famous piece of artwork, isn't it? Yeah, the girl with the pearl earring. Thirty million in two thousand and four. Yep, that's an expensive piece of art. That is an expensive piece of art. Um, yeah, I mean that's cool. Please put it on a t-shirt. Please let that be on a t-shirt. It's 
move ahead. Uh, the Enterprises hoodie. I mean, it's cool that they've done different colorways to it uh, for the text, but it doesn't do too much for me. Micro hoodie. Yep, go for it, I suppose, at the end of the day. What's it say? I can't even read what that says. <laughs> Let's move ahead. Another vest. Zip-up vest or sweat vest. It's not as good as the other one, personally. Windstopper. Standard. Right, we're through all the hoodies. T-shirts. Ferro Sanders, they or Sanders, they're a... Well, you can see what they are, can't you? They're, they're a sax saxophonist. Is it how you say it? Yeah, saxophonist. I saw this as a leak uh, before that people were going to say there was going to be a piece to do uh, with him. So, yeah. I mean, it looks really clean. It looks really nice. Uh, compared to other pieces that seem a little bit rushed on the photo side, this looks nice and simple and clean. So, yeah. And it's got a signature on the back, so yeah. A tie T. Okay. Bring it down a notch from the that that one. Okay. The New Ava York T. It's okay. Stay positive. I'm staying positive, Supreme. I'm staying positive again. The Balloons T. It's not bad. Could be better. Jet T. Could be a piece that I see people people like, definitely. Jet T. Futura, yeah. We haven't had that since what? 2011 and 2006. So yeah. Verify T. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's good. Yeah. Hats off to them with that one. Verify. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. You 100% have to wear that when you're going for like, like, I don't know, a Yeezy Supply drop or something like that. Or like foot sights or something. You have to be wearing that. Have to. Lover's tea. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't beat the previous Cupid tea, but yeah. Uh, and the multi tea. Okay. Uh, favorites. Let's go through favorites of the teas. Favorites for me are definitely going to be the uh, Pharaoh Sanders tea. Uh... The balloons tea ish, but the jet tea and the capture tea, a hundred percent. That that that's good. That is good. The Futura tea is also nice uh, with the message on the back. But yeah, definitely those. Right. Next up, coats, script logo wall coat or overcoat, embroidered, embroidered, embroidery anywhere? No, no embroidery, no embroidery. Sad times. They better have good bot protection. People are definitely going to go for that. And if you get a capture, 100%, if you get a capture when you're going for that, that would be the, the perfect thing. That would be absolutely perfect if you get a capture while going for that. Um, yeah, this is okay, but I wish it was embroidered, personally. Sticking with the rose theme, uh, leather collar. Yeah, no thank you. Uh, the rose looks okay on that, but the other two... No, thank you. Crochet uh, hoodie zip up sweater. Yeah, blue colorway. Really nice. Plaid sweater. Nah, doesn't beat Smurf. Doesn't beat the Smurf sweater. They've done that already, uh, but in thinner lines, I'm pretty sure, a couple of seasons ago. So, it's not the greatest. Static sweater. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I was happy for a second. I was happy with things. Windstopper zip up. I could see that being worn. I could see people wearing it. I like the graphic to it as well. Mohair cardigan, they've done that before. Retail was like 158 or 198 or something. So I'm going to move ahead from that. Although I think it did pop off. So checkerboard sweater. Yeah, no. Especially in that orange. No, 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 no. Stonewash sweater. They're doing a lot of sweaters, aren't they? I mean, it is full winter, but still. Um, navy and black, I think, or blue and black look nice. Textured small box logo. 
I like the Supreme font, but it's not too legible. So, still, oh, that's the end of sweaters. Sweaters are okay, though. A lot of sweaters, they're okay. Quilted flannel shirt. No, thank you. Snake skin. I thought we got over this with North Face. Mohair could be a sleeper for sure. I thought we got over this with the North Face. My brother bought a couple of pieces from that. It didn't end up going well when he was shifting it. Twill pocket shirt. No, 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 no. Uh, the black arc rain shirts following on from the jacket. They're doing it again. Black colorway looks nice. No. The receipt Rayan shirt. I mean, yeah, why not? Definitely this colorway is a bit better in it for me. Two tone work shirt. It reminds me of the XXL hoodie. And as of that, it's it's a no. Camo mesh shirt. My uh, logo taping work shirt. The movie on. Compact dots rain shirt. I mean, yeah, but it's not anything special. Uh, we've got the hooded shadow plaid shirt. No, 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 definitely not. Studded pat. No, no. <laughs> Other colorways are okay, but no, not that one. Right. We are on to the good stuff, I think. Maybe. We're on to the final two rows now, where it will get into the bags, some of the jackets, I think, or more expensive sort of things, I think, and then the accessories and everything else is at, uh, well, afterwards. So, we've got a refrigerware, refrigerware? Insulated iron tough jacket. That's a lot of words. That's a cool embroidered graphic, though, exclusively for Supreme. That just sounds like the price is... It's up there. I mean... Yeah. I don't know. It just sounds like it's going to have a high retail. A vest as well. Yeah, it sounds like retail. Just retail is just going to be up there, so we're going to move on. Okay, we've got the hats or the camp caps. Reflective speckled to match the other piece. It's not for me. Snake skin corduroy. No, no, it's not for me. Velvet camp cap. Blue colorway, dark blue. Black colorway. Maybe. Blocks. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, it's okay, it's not the greatest. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Um, wash chino twill. Why not? Why not just put a zip on your head just to... What are you going to store up there? What? <laughs> like, what is someone going to store? Oh, I'm moving on. No, moving on, moving on. Logo stripe. Yeah, denim colorway. I'll give it that. That looks okay. Dry wax. No. We've had this sort of thing before. The ear flap, they've started to do for the last couple of seasons. White colorway looks okay. Black colorway as well. Inset. No. Military. Crusher, to be honest though, even though it's something that most family members would probably like knit for you and make for you, I'm with it. I'm with it in this in this blue like colorway. Now I'm not with it. A shock cord crusher. But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> Snakeskin bell hat. Maybe, but I'm... I'm not really a fan of snakeskin, to be honest, after it's it's dropped a lot. Drops by Jay said December 10th. Yeah, it's normally about the Christmas Christmas time, first or second week, that they drop it. Gore-Tex, expensive, and another crusher. Probably not that expensive, but it, it might end up doing well, because people like their crushers, or recent times, they like their crushers. 
big logo hooded. Uh, why is it a zip up? Gucci, Gucci colorway. Um, I sold the track jacket that they did a couple of seasons ago uh, on eBay that was in the Gucci colorway. And it did well, to be honest. It did well. So I don't see this sort of zip up doing it because that was a track jacket. So it's a bit different. But maybe, maybe there's a buyer out there. We've got the portrait hoodie. Yeah. Big arc. I was going to say offset it a bit more over, but people wouldn't like that too much and the end result wouldn't look too good. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the greatest. Patchwork hoodie. If the, if the font wasn't there, I think people would like it a bit more, but... Grey colourway. Grey colourway is okay. It's not the greatest, but I'll say it's okay. Futura, yeah. Does it have the same font on the back? Probably not. Uh, I'd seen a lot of people hyped for Futura, so yeah, go for it. Like it's it's really I do like the font and obviously all the font styles, so yeah. And the artist, so yeah. Rib hoodie. You're bringing it back down, Supreme. You're bringing me back down. Overprint crew neck. They're like really running with this XXL theme that they did. Like they're really going with this two-tone look to things. I want to go back onto the thingy quickly because I do like it. I think grey in the patchwork and blue in this I like and the grey but anyway. They're just colorways that caught my eye. That piece we're moving hate, hate straight ahead from. Uh, the piece hoodie. Yeah, I mean, to like try and sped, sped, spread positivity is good. Uh, maybe a bit of a more legible text would help, but that colorway is really nice in it though. But yeah, anyway. Hockey sweatshirt. Yeah. Yeah, blue colorway, personal preference. Okay, it looks like jelly. Like it says blocks, but they look like like clumps of jelly on that. Uh, no, no, not side logo, please. No, small box face mask. I mean, Supreme are doing everyone a favor. Like you've got face mask on your hoodie. You're sorted. Even though it's going to be extremely hot and sweaty. But they're doing you a favour right there. Uh, the Chinua applique. I'm okay. Big S. Where's the S? Is this meant to be the S that loops around? Yep. Okay. Uh, this colourway though looks fine. But anyway. Drop shadow. Oh, I love a good drop shadow. I love a good drop shadow, but in this case, uh, I'm going to say no. It's embroidered, which is cool, but Fox Racing, and it's a hoodie this time. That's not bad. That colorway really like pops for me, stands out so much. Black colorway people probably want, but that colorway works so much better in a hoodie than it does on the jacket. Best of the best. But why? <laughs> why is it there? Put it on the chest or the back. You can't even see the word of the. You can't see the of the. Is it in the pocket? Am I meant to look into the pocket to see it? Small box crew neck. That's a seasonal thing now so we can move ahead. Politech sweatshirt. Expensive. That colorway though. It's not bad. Uh, cream. Politech half zip. Yeah. Same sort of colorways. It's not bad. Right. Dragon hockey jersey. See, I like dragons, but... Maybe... No. I mean... Red colorway, though. I'm not going to knock it. It's okay. Velour baseball jersey. 
Yeah, cream in those uh, the previous pieces, the Poetech pieces are nice. Yeah, I'm not a Velour person though. It People probably want it, but um, it's not for me. Tiger embroidery. I wish I could read what it says, but I can't, unfortunately. So, I like the tiger artwork, but yeah. I wish I knew what it said, but someone will probably translate it at some point. Panelled football jersey. No. <laughs> no. Colour blocked polo. No, it's just going to be expensive at the end of the day, so no. Micro, they're following up this micro. I'm not, I'm not with it. Collage piece. So you're just taking previous things. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 not getting me. Dyed baseball jersey. Front colorway, maybe. Rest, not really. Scatter long, long, yeah, I can't speak. Long sleeve top. Um, maybe, oh God. See, they, they did the cutout. They did the cutout once. They did the cutout box logo and people were hyped and then they bricked it. And now they're just like, oh, well, they were hyped for that. So we'll just do it on a load of other things as well. And this is the result. <laughs> Yeah, there are way too many stripes as well this season. They've really thrown out the stripes. Best of the best, such so as World Class 94. Yeah, shoulder arc, no. Flowers, they're okay. Flower colourway I like, but it's a small box piece, so yeah. Next up, we've got a blanket. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I will butcher it. Uh, but... Yeah, it's another jacket. Blue colorway is the best, though, out of the two. Another varsity. I'm not. I will not be persuaded by the varsities. Yeah, they're not going to persuade me anyway, so it's fine. I think that it looks okay, but they're not going to persuade me. Curve logo. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It just goes into the pocket and vanishes. It's great. And down the leg as well. Maybe, maybe in the pant it works, but that's the end of that. On to the pants now, cargo pant. Yeah, tartan, two-toed. No. No, no, please. Stop, Supreme, stop. <laughs> uh, Warm-up pant, very normal for the season. They're really rocking with the green this season, which I'm happy about. Poetech overalls. Cream colourway. I like these these colours that they're they're picking. Yeah, it's just gonna be expensive. To match the LSD hoodie, which I think people will like the LSD hoodie. Ah, oh, we've got the we got Gucci. We got Gucci. It's Gucci. That's it. The Depop, Depop listing, Gucci colorway, sold out instantly, big logo paddled sweat pad. Rare. That will be it, that will be it. Studded collars, yeah, they're following up with that. I think on the original piece, uh, the polo or whatever, or the rayon that they put it on, it looks okay. Rest of the pieces, don't redo really it for me. Uh, the big stitch piece, yeah, that'd be a cool one. Lilo and Stitch. Supreme, Lilo and Stitch, next season. That's what that's what we're asking for. Well, that's what I'm asking for. Uh, the blocks piece. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just looks like jelly. It, it looks like jelly. Grey colourway. Grey and this, this cream colourway. It works. It, that doesn't work. That. I mean, grey and purple, maybe. S logo with the Supreme. It's quite cool. It's different for it. Fox Racing doing a sweat pant as well. Yeah. I mean, retail is going to be a lot higher. So, yeah. Military short. Dyed basketball short to match the other one. I think that the jersey looks a lot better than the short. It just looks like I've like just wiped them. Like just, It looks like I've just cleaned the floor with them, to be honest. That's what they've gone for. Right. We are on to the final row. The row of the accessories 
and the bags and what everyone said they were looking forward to. So, let's kick things off with the backpacks. Let's start light. Let's start light. Backpacks. Colorway's not bad. Yeah, I mean, backpacks are backpacks. Sometimes they do tend to do well. But don't take my word for that. Don't take my word. Uh, a tote. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Mini duffel. A mini duffel. How big are we talking though, Supreme? Because last time I bought the, the like Nike Nike bag. And no word of a lie. It was about the same size. Or this, this could actually be bigger. Near enough than the bag that I got from them. The like small shoulder bag that I got. So that, that was very misleading. So... You know, I, I, I'd like to know how big this actually is. Because I don't want to get it and just have something like the size of this water bottle and be like, like, what am I going to put in it? Uh, we've got a sling bag. Okay, yeah, straight over. Yeah, I mean, I can see people buying that 100%. Waste bag. Waste bags also from a couple of seasons ago. They went crazy, so. A neck pouch. That's that's that thin material. That is that thin material that the Nike bag had. It wasn't good. It was not good material. It was not nice. A waterproof speckled backpack. It looks a lot better on the backpack than it does on the other pieces. And they're doing it on a shoulder bag as well. I'm guessing they're going to be a couple of other pieces. Yeah, but 9 litres, like, it's it's a bit misleading when they when they put, like, the amount that it is on there. For like the, what it can like take sort of thing. Waste bag. I think it looks better on the other thing. Canvas backpack. Cream colorway though. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's not bad. Right, beanies. Ah, oh, the beanies are here. Kango to kick it off. The Kangol piece did pop off. I will say that. Its price went absolutely insane. But that wasn't on a beanie. That was a hat. So. Multi-pattern. It's not bad. Clear label. It's not great. Stripe. What is it with these stripes? I like this colorway though. That's the worst part about it. But can they stop with the stripes? Arc beanie. It's okay. Vertical logo. Hurts my eyes a bit. Blue colorway is the best though. For me, personally. I'll look back at that in a second on the Kangol piece. New era shop beanie. Static. Yeah, okay. Sequin. I mean, I thought that they learnt from, like, the Swarovski piece that if you wash something like this, it's not going to last too long. So, I mean, it might end up selling, but it's not going to last the longest. Rainbow Knit Loose Gorge Beanie. It's not bad. Smurf Beanie. Give me some more pictures, Supreme. I hope that this goes down below, because if it does, I'd like that black colourway. But yeah, Alpine beanie, it's okay. Matching the artwork, black colorway, love supreme. That's not bad, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it to that, that's not bad. I'd say gray colorway. Maybe the, the pine green sort of colour are nice for that. Grey colourway and pink and we move on. Cuff stripe beanie. I mean it's not bad. I like the logo for it but... Cashmere. I don't know how the cashmere beanies are doing from the last season. Uh, or the season before. I think they were, but uh, they were more expensive, obviously. I think at first they started to sell, but penguin beanie. 
It's cool. I wish that they'd done like a club penguin instead. I think that's what they're almost trying to mimic with this. I hope they are. Uh, but if they'd done like a club penguin, that would have, would have looked so much better, I think. That would have been so cool. But yeah, maybe that's just me. I will get one. I, I won't lie. I mean, I can I can knock it all I want, but I will 100%, and so will people watching, you will 100% get one of these. But at the same time... I don't know. I definitely, I definitely... <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It, see, the thing about it is, is that they can't put it in the normal place, obviously, because of what it is. So as of that, it's going to be on the top of your head. It might look a bit warped because of that. So I think that people will still, it will sell out still easily. But compared to the hoodie, I'm just going to move ahead. Mohair beanie. Yeah, they're not bad. Radar beanie. Someone's got some Jimmy Neutron head going on for this one. <laughs> like, I wouldn't call somebody that has a cap at the front a beanie, but maybe that's me. World Peace Supreme. Bit too vibrant. Blue, black and white look nice though. No thank you on that one. Fair Isle. It's okay. I mean, yeah, like, it is what it is. Big logo beanie in the past, they did do well. I think that these colorways are actually quite nice uh, for it. The blue definitely looks nice in it. So, yeah, world famous beanie. Paris camo. Wide rib. Classic and nice and simple. Garage beanie. Loose gorge. Like the embroidery. Double logo face mask. <laughs> Why not? I mean, that's like me throwing two two headbands on, just wearing one here, just putting one round my neck as well to catch the sweat while I'm at it. Um, I mean, yeah, go for it, I suppose. Oh, it folds up. Oh, it folds up. Okay. I'm glad that it does. Politech beanie. Looks eh. I've already got my ear flap. It's over there somewhere, actually. I wear it quite a lot. Well, in the winter, I wear it a lot. So, yeah. New Era Balaclava. Retail might be a bit up on it. Balaclavas are okay, but they don't tend to do well. So, okay. I know we're not on to the accessories yet, unfortunately. I know people want the accessories, but we're not on to them yet. We've got Corduroy Flight Pant. Oh, those zips. I mean, I'll be honest. If you're going to sit down, if you put something in that pocket, you're just going to crush it. Unless they're just... I don't know what they're for. Are they air flaps so that you can take off, maybe? Is that what we're going for with this one? Uh, a work pan with the same artwork. Again, I wish it was embroidered. It'd been so much better if it was embroidered, but it's still a cool piece. Studied work pan, no, 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 no. Pin up chino pan. See, I really like the rose colorway for these things, so yeah. I mean, that's not bad. I see people probably want that. Regular jean. Yeah, standard. Double knee. No. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that colorway. I'll give it that. Logo stripe. Yeah, standard, standard, standard. Okay. Six panels. I think we're on to the final hats, maybe. Or maybe there's one more section until we're on to that. So S logos. I know people love the S logos, so here's a chance to pick up some more. Okay, no, no. Scripts, no. Stamp, no. Classic logo. Why has it got the gap at the back? Oh, it's reversible. Okay. So it's to make it easier to reverse, I suppose. Beanies are good though. Beanies and the other hats, I think, are good. Six panels so far. 
I like this colorway in the marble. It looks like lightning for some reason. That's just me. But yeah. Interstate. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Cordura. Again, roses. Roses. I'm happy with roses. Logo pattern. Precision. Wind stopper with ear flap. I like the f the like uh, field or like you know woods theme to this one. Another S logo. This time Gore Tex so that they can slap that price up. Futura. Blimp. It's not bad, but I don't like mesh. S logo with the ice. I think that that's that's yeah. That's not bad. Something I can see like Lord Fubu doing a bit of work on. Putting some more embroidery to it. Ear flap. Yeah. Okay. Tech Trooper. They're just saving everyone for this season, aren't they? They're just saving everyone. They're, they're literally just putting out pieces to stop you from having to buy, like, face masks. That's what they're literally doing. Fofo Trooper. Yeah. Matches the other piece. Someone's definitely going to have an outfit with... Not that on. With that on and the jacket as well. And Script Logos Trooper. It's not bad, but yeah. Okay. I lied. I lied. We've got more. We've got more to go through. Street scene. This is a very... Ex ex I can't speak. Expensive skateboard uh, set. I put bids on uh, this on StockX for like £140 a piece. Unfortunately, someone upbidded that to like 350 on each and ended up buying them. So, yeah. But uh, very famous street scene for Subaru. Bobsled. Bobsled, they need that film. They need the film. Uh, oh, they have to have the... Uh, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. That's what you need. Cool runnings. Cool runnings with uh, uh, John Candy. That's what you need. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. That's what you need. I mean, it's a different piece. So, I think it's alright. Perspective. My perspective on this piece has changed as well. I still think this is okay, but maybe this one's a bit better now, but it's not it's not the best one. Bleed. I mean, they could have just called it a motion logo top if they really wanted to still use the motion logo and get away with it, but it's not bad, but yeah. Plaid applique. Not the basic, not the best. Yeah, the film is great. Cool Runnings is a great film. Next up, stripe applique. I mean, doing the inverted colours is quite cool, but it's not the greatest font choice. Didn't we have something like this before? And I changed it to say lame on one of them. I can't remember what it was, but I changed it. I remember to say lame. Interstate waffle thermal. I like the other in, uh, waffle thermal they released in 2018, I believe it was. I thought that was a cool, like, piece. Bullion? Mm, no. Ancient? No. Oval? No. No. <laughs> Small pocket tea. Again, woodland, I like. Right. We are on to the accessories. Okay. Jacob and Co. time. Watch. It's not, it's not the Rolex that everyone's been waiting for. But, yeah, okay, so you've got New York time, Paris time, and Tokyo time you can set it to. Probably out of my budget, but 47 accessories. <laughs> Jacob and Co. pendant. That is, that's going to be pricey, isn't it? What you want to do is get the the uh, the pin that they released from, like, last season or the season before, and just put that on a chain. Job done. <laughs> Job done. Okay, okay, okay. We've lost. We've lost focus. We've lost focus. I saw the the thing about this. I saw the thing about this. That's sick. That's so cool. That is so cool. I didn't play Mortal Kombat for long when I was younger. I only played it at like a limited time frame on my PS2. But it was a good game. 
like that's it. We draw the line there. Mortal Kombat was the game. And they've got three of them on here as well. <sighs> See, I'll be honest. My bank account... Well, I don't even have my wallet on me. My bank account's looking a bit like... <laughs> like... <laughs> but if I could get that, that would be so cool. Right, and custom graphics as well. That'd be so cool. That'd be really cool. Be really cool. They need to make this into a T. It's impossible to get. Oh yeah, 100%. It's going to be impossible to get. But if they put that on a T, yeah, that'd be sick. That's cool. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Certified. Certified cool. Uh, Pat McGrath Labs Lipstick. I'll be honest, there are going to be guys who are going to be buying this to resell, 100%. Normal size or small size, it does not say, unfortunately, what the size is on it. But, let's be honest, guys are going to be buying this and they're going to be reselling it. 100%, that is what's going to happen. This will be botted. This will be botted, definitely. Watch an arcade have it. Possibly... I mean, if it drops online, it's going to be horrific again. What am I missing on this? What am I not getting? Oh, it is a sofa bed. Oh. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is sick. I was going to say, why would they release something that's like that big, but it's not. That's a sofa bed. That's sick. That is sick. That's going to have a high retail probably, but that is really cool. Oh, and it folds away like that. That is cool. That is cool. That is cool, you can have it flat or you can have it up like that. That's cool. That's that's another one. Accessories, that's two that I'm saying are really good. You've got the arcade machine and this. Yeah, I don't know what are on it. I'm just going to go with their sweets, you know, that are on it. Um, and that's about as far as we're leaving it. The fish bowl. Two gallon glass fish bowl. Okay. It's different to uh, the mock-up from a while ago, but... With the, the embossed logo on it. That's cool. I've just seen... Have we just seen that? Uh, people are going to sell that. Definitely a lot of orders are going to come broken. People are going to open it up. It's just going to be a smashed bowl. And they'll just have to live with it. Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> I know that everyone... Every, I'm going to buy this. You're going to buy this. Everyone's going to buy this. It's going to be like £5. Maybe £7 at a push. Maybe less. We're going to buy this. It's going to be bought. That's that's it. You know. Yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I need that. That I'm going to have slots for that. That's it. I'm going to have slots for that. Yeah. I used to be horrified. I will say horrified by Chucky because when I was younger on holiday we were in a holiday when I was extremely young in Portugal and my dad bought this mask the mask of it and scared me with it because about six months prior I was stuck in a room because I couldn't reach the handle I put Chucky on thinking it was Chucky from Rugrats and got stuck watching this when I... <laughs> The whole film, and I couldn't get out of the room because I couldn't reach the door handle. And I had to watch this, and it was horrific. But now I like Chucky, so I need this. I need this. 100% I need this. So, yeah, that's that. I need it. I just need it. That's that. I need it. So, yeah. We've got the jerry can. I mean, it's useful at the end of the day, so... Yeah, they haven't done it before. People will definitely be buying it. So, yeah. Yeah, fun fact with me. Childhood story. Fun fact. A bellhop lamp. 
If the price isn't too much, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Collar vase or vase, yeah. Uh, my brother still has the the other one that they released that they got the cease and desist on. He still has that, which he got for retail. Um, so yeah, I think that looks a bit better than this as an overall. So yeah, we've got a watch plate. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. It's not going to be used. People are going to put it up on a wall or something. So, yeah. <laughs> a microphone. Oh, it's a sure. Oh, no. That retail. What's a sure cost? Short, like, e. What is it? How much? I mean, yeah, £100, depending on... Mm, maybe 150 150 Supreme, 150 ish, maybe. That'd be cool for videos out in public. If you do a Supreme video, you've got your little Supreme Sure microphone you'd slap out, but yeah. Folding chair, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's useful. Standard. If the retail isn't high, which I'm guessing it wouldn't, if the, if the lawn chair was, you know, average, this is probably going to be the same sort of thing, so yeah. Maybe I'd pushing my luck saying like 48 pounds just because it's a, it's a folding chair it's very standard so yeah a projector <laughs> a projector i mean i've been looking for a projector i'll be honest i've been looking for a projector but a supreme projector sounds it's anchor anchors are good make so yeah but Broke boy director's chair. Yeah, you go director's chair, you go lawn chair, which I've got, and then you go folding chair. That's the level we go down to. Uh, yeah, I think that that's quite cool. They're doing that. A step stool. Oh, no, these are the ones that they used to have at school. These, these are the ones that you'd put a foot onto, and it would just drift across the ground straight away. You'd put your foot, you'd go to step up, and you'd just slide straight away. And then you'd see, like, teachers, they'd step up and they'd be holding on to something. Like, they'd be grabbing onto something to then step up onto it. Because you know that your feet, you're going like like that with this. So, like, it's a cool stool, but yeah. Okay, basketball's dropping this season. That's another one. That's another one. That is another one that we need. So, we've got basketball, we've got Chucky Doll. I mean... Maybe arcade machine, but that's out of my budget, realistically. We got the Colgate toothpaste, you know, that we need. Basketball as well, obviously. Projector, maybe. Mic, maybe. Uh, stool, possibly, but basketball. We've got another set of playing cards. Okay, uh, so I think that my brother had both of the previous sets they released. I know that my mum definitely has the gold playing set or card set. Uh, so, yeah, I'd want these, to be honest, so I can have a set. Because I haven't had a set, so yeah, I'll I'll get them. No, they can keep these. They they kept these back a season. Then keep them back another season. The retail is going to be too high, so keep it. A pipe wrench, not going to be useful for a lot of people, but I mean, it's cool. A Swarovski Zippo. Now, if the retail isn't ludicrous, it will probably end up selling. But the retail is probably going to be ludicrous. So, yeah. We've got a mini flask, you know, for all your liquid needs. You know, we're going to be putting water in it, obviously, aren't we, everyone? Yeah. So. Next. That is not going to be allowed in the EU. So, that can be, like, just said goodbye to. So, yeah. Got a Mophie Power Station Go. Okay, with jump jump cables or jump started cables. Okay. Alright. Yeah, go for it, I suppose. Headlamp. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's cool. I don't think people be using it, but it's cool. I mean, I've got a load of, like, beanies that have them on there, so, yeah. Name badge. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Please drop in the EU. Please. Be like two or three pounds. You can probably get like three packs of them. Like the other stickers. I'd be happy with that. And like the ponchos. Just get like three or four. Job done. An iPhone case. That's going to go crazy. 
That is going to go absolutely crazy. They haven't done an iPhone case since they did the Bling iPhone case uh, cover. So, yeah, that is definitely going to be something that people will be after. We've got the Hydropack stash bottle. Yeah, I mean, it's more useful than some of the other bottles because you like just slap it in your pocket, open it up, get your Supreme Flask out, fill it up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Air Force One. Week one. That's that'll probably be my first car. Just Air Force One, done. That'll be that. Well, well, I'll get other things. Obviously, I want that iPhone case. Yeah, definitely, people want that. Hanes, yep, yeah, some different designs. That's okay. Keychain, yeah. Retractable keychain, okay. No. Stay positive button. I'll get one of them. 100%. I want one of them. Aerial skateboard. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Reminds me of the banner deck. I wish they put it on a tee. I didn't see it on a tee. So, yeah. But that's that's cool. That's really cool. Different planes as well, which is cool. Yeah. <sighs> see... If it was more legible, it would be great, but it's not. But the pink and the blue go hard, so I don't know. Balloons. Yeah, it's okay. Pills. Yeah. Pipe and the truck and the Spitfire wheels. So... Summary for the season. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to this season, to be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, favorite accessories. Now we can go on to this where we go view all and we can go through some things. So let's pick out, let's pick out our favorites. Let's pick out our favorites. So we are going to go with this. I'm going to say yes, I do actually like it. That 100% I like it. Moving on from there, I do like that piece and the penguin piece, but eh, that definitely. Next up from there, we are going to say. I'm going to say the Polar Tech pieces, definitely. Tees, 100% that one, that one. Jet T, I might leave B. Smurf. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it's Smurfs okay, and that one's okay as well. Moving on from that. Like, come on, come on. We're just, we're just opening basically every accessory that I like. Uh, going for that, we're going for that. 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 Yeah, okay. So, summary for the season for me. I'm looking forward to it. More so accessories. Probably the same as most of you. The accessories, you know, the accessories are just like, they're the winners. So this piece is a bit out there, but I like it. Penguins, 100% is a big, big dub right there. That's such a nice piece. Uh, Smurf, I'm going to say it. I like it. I probably won't go for it, but I like it. Uh, the half zip pieces or the Polar Tech pieces in general, I think are really nice. Cream colorway, extremely nice. Next up, T. We've got the Ferro Sanders T. I really like this piece, black colorway, size large, just nice piece. I think it'd be nice to get. Verify T, yeah, 100%. Just, it's great, it's great, it's absolutely great. I am missing one piece though, because I'm quite zoomed out, which is, I'm missing one piece. Where is it? Just thought of it, there it is, I'll drag it. Uh, the aerial tapestry piece, 100%, really nice as well, really nice piece. Next up, Smurf Beanie. Sort of nice. I hope that it's a full down graphic and it just doesn't cut off there. And the black colorway, I like in it. Other beanie, grey in this new era, I think is nice. Accessories, Chucky. Come on. Come on. Chucky, yeah. I, I'll need a slot on him. I'll try for him manually, but I need a slot. He, yeah, yeah, come on. He's, he's great. You have to. I wish they released the overalls, but yeah. Oh yeah, box logo. Box logo... <sighs> See, the thing about box logo is it's good, but it's, um, it's good, but it, uh, I don't know. 
I'll go for it, 100%, like most of you, I'll go for it. It's good. This front peach cream colorway, 100%, I'll go for it in that. But it doesn't do the same thing as I'd, I'd like, want it to. But again, it's a box logo, I'm not going to complain. It's not really at the top of my list, though, because I'll probably take an L on it. But Chucky is at the top of my list. Uh, apart from that, Colgate toothpaste. Easy, yeah. Fish bowl, 100%. My brother will probably go for that as well because I think he wants to get a fish. So yeah, uh, the the this yeah, like the sofa bed, hundred percent. But it could be expensive. So yeah, I can't afford this. But I mean, it, it's it's so cool. So yeah, it's so cool. Uh, la lamp, yep, I'll give it that. Folding chair, if it's cheap, be great to pick up. Basketball, playing cards. Uh, the badge, stickers, and the uh, Hydra Flask. But yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. The thing that I think is, is one of the coolest is going to be the Chucky and the Mortal Kombat. They are, they are at the top for me. So yeah, now I'm just going to read some of your opinions through. So you need the, uh, the Zippos. How fast the Air Force Ones go? People probably aim for them and get slots on them. I'll probably have a slot on them, so they'll, they'll go quick. Um... They'll probably go quite fast. Yeah, the fleet is really nice. Definitely that penguin one's cool. Uh, puffer jackets are okay, but they're, they're not going to take it for me. They're not going to take like the top spot for me. 100% the accessories are just highlight of the season as per norm. Um, I mean, look at that. That's so cool when you're just looking through all of that. Like, yeah. 100% Chucky, the arcade machine, everything. Just, yeah, I like it. I'm not getting a hype piece of Chucky doll. I mean, it's just cool. I think it's cool. So, yeah, I mean, I'll put him in a box. He's not He's not going anywhere. He'll be like in an airtight box with like a lock on it. Uh, you should do a live cop. Oh, yeah, for, for a lot of the stuff, I will be live copying. Like, well, as per norm, I'll be live copying. So, yeah, uh, but this probably not unless like there's someone willing to loan, probably. Um, but, yeah, Penguin Fleece, I think will be a hitter. A lot of the pieces, I think, will go under the radar, hopefully. Uh, the top of the list, the bomber jacket. This this one, this one. Are you on about or a different one? I mean, if it's this one, this one is okay, but it doesn't have the same hit as a lot of the pieces. But yeah, personally, I think it's a good season. Uh, the first in-store drop should probably be this Thursday, with obviously sign-ups being tomorrow. I don't know how the sign-up process will be. But, yeah, it'll probably then drop next week on Monday. Um, hopefully, week one be next week, Monday. Otherwise, it might be the, Wednesday, the Thursday. So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, personally, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, the first one you showed. Yeah, I think it's okay. But, I don't know. It just doesn't do great, great thing overall for me. Um, but, yeah, personally... I'll give it. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Six point eight seven out of ten. I think the fox racing pieces are also quite nice. Um, and yeah, box logo. I mean, it's a box logo at the end there. I think it's okay. It's nothing insane, but I think it's all right. So yeah, you're right, Sphere. Where'd you get your slots uh, from, friends? So yeah, yeah. Week zero is this week. Yeah, so. But yeah, um, sign up, uh, they drop something normally on a Tuesday morning. Just cut your hair. I'm having a haircut this week, okay? I think, so yeah. It's not that long, it's not that long, it's fine. So yeah, Chucky can cut it for me out of anything, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think this season looks promising, hopefully. Hopefully some good, uh, whatever they're called, collaborations, yep, that's the one. Hopefully some better collaborations or good collaborations will be in there. Better than SS20 for the lookbook side. Yeah, 100% for me personally. Fall winter for some reason just hits. It just hits better, you know. It just hits better than spring summer. Uh, but yeah, hello uh, to you as well, Matthew. Or Matthew. Uh, but yeah, that is going to cover this pretty much. I'm going to play the outro music. And that will that will probably uh, end us off. Go to the news tab. I will go to the news tab before we end off. I'd love to go to the news tab. Let's click on it. 
Oh, it's online this Thursday. Okay, that's really different. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get ready for that then. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this Thursday. I thought it's normally a Monday, but yeah, it's online this Thursday. Well, the, the alarms are going off, everyone. The alarms are going off. You've got to get ready. It's, it's this Thursday. Wow. Um, but yeah, accessories, uh, someone's just asked, Mortal Kombat, this, probably going to be, the, they're both going to be expensive, so probably won't be able to get those two, Fishbowl, Colgate, Chucky, the lamp, basketball, the playing cards, and then the stickers are for me, so yeah, they're the ones that I like the most, so yeah, but yeah, anyway, uh, that is going to cover it, let's get the outro music going, thank you for everyone for being in here. Genuinely, I really do appreciate it. Like, yeah, it's it's great. So, yeah, there'll be a video going over, like, my favourite pieces from the season tomorrow or on Wednesday. And then, obviously, when the, uh, the like, drop list is out, I'll be covering that as well. But, yeah, that is pretty much going to cover it from me. Other than that, I will see you all next time. i got to get this timing right. Peace. Wait. I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed up the timing. Oh, he's messed up the timing because I misclicked. We're going to have to go again. Right. Round two. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you again for everyone being in here. Other than that, I will see you for a drop list video. <laughs> and yeah. That is it from me. <laughs> this time, we're going to get it right. I'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.